So in my last clip I was going to start talking about what I'm going to do with the next series of drops, <clears throat> but I, I got sidetracked and didn't really follow the script. So here's the deal. I'm going to explain to you a little something. If you haven't watched the clip prior, you won't understand this, so I'll give you the backstory real quick. Uh, the agenda is I want a world festival. For three days I want the whole freaking world to get along and unify just like if they can do it in the, with the Olympics there's no reason that they can't do it for this because Jesus Christ is way more important than a bunch of gold medals we're talking golden trophies <clears throat> so what I've decided to do with respect to the key players in this festival that I want to do will be equipped with the s certain things. They, there's people out in the community that don't realize yet the significance that their lives could bring if they choose not to simply throw these things onto the ground or throw them in the garbage because they don't understand it or they haven't heard about it on the radio or there's no website to go to or you know they haven't seen a previews or trailers or reels or anything for it. This has been an underground operation since the beginning of 2011. One of the things that I'm going to do, because I have a cornucopia of different ways that I'm going to invite certain people to come dine with Jesus and I, is this. The first thing, on these money dollar bills, I'm going to flip each dollar over and I'm going to write a personal message. I'm going to write a specific scripture and directions for what the person should do if they want to be part of the movies, if they want to get paid, if they want further vouchers, once we know who all of the vendors are, all that jazz. So what I do is I take a ticket, just like this, I rip it off, attach the coupon to the dollar bill right here, put the other ticket in the jar, fold it up, and distribute them. And chances are I'm going to be bagging everything and putting a little something as an incentive like candy or something in there. <clears throat> Everybody wants the prize. Ever notice how radio stations do that? You can call like friggin 10 o'clock, 1030 at night when nothing's going on, check in with one of the radio personalities, just want to see how you're doing. Doing pretty good, but the minute that there's something to be had, tickets to Coldplay or the Black Keys, then you can't freaking get through to save your life. Yeah. The second thing, and I have done this for a long time, is I take play regular standard playing cards and I create messages and keepsakes and tangible items for people to be able to access the certain passes, get into the VIP lounges, meet certain celebrities, God willing if this ever happens in real life. I don't want to say real life, but now. <clears throat> and so what I have done is I put some candy in there with a message. And that message says this. Keep this paper and the card or cards to receive free passes to Passion Fest and Life 10 Concert for Jesus, the largest seven continent concert in world history. Please do not litter any of these items. When you hear the casting call, call in and describe your card for free gift certificates from over 3,000 vendors. Lastly, if you would like to take part in the movie, The Graffiti Angels, email us at, and then I leave my email address, God bless you and your family. Okay? Everything that becomes amazing starts with an idea. It starts with a concept. The hardest part is getting the first, second, third, fourth, fifth up through the twelfth person to jump on board over it. Now, Angela Maracy is a saint known for going blind at a location and coming back to that location later and regaining her sight. She assembled ten of her closest friends and they started a new order and now there are all over the world St. Marisy schools for young girls. Uh, she did a phenomenal job. So as a person who doesn't know anything about this, if I found 
a sack like that because what most people will do is they'll throw the sack and the cards on the ground they won't keep them they'll take the candy and they'll leave the trash behind now I could say that really pisses me off but I don't have the time or a person or the equipment to sit and surveil where I leave my things that's why I want to start the reality TV show Angel Games because we would sit there and watch and wait for someone to come along and see what they do watch the whole thing do they open the bag and take out the card and read it do they look around you know get people in this like dead lock in those moments to see what they do and uh, then when they start to walk off you know the cameras come out and it's like hmm and then we ask him a series of questions kinda like way of the master with Kirk, uh, Kirk Cameron how he did that and then we move on so let's see with these bags and with the dollars that I just showed you and with all of the things that I have done thus far everything everything to the last piece of glitter to the last sticker has been God breathed Jesus touched Angela delivered and it, it's mana from heaven mana isn't just food it's fuel so I want to create a revolution I want to do a lot of things I need someone to back me financially okay so how many of these are we going to distribute let's count them out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Right on, dude. 21. Poker. <laughs> so it looks like I'm going to be pretty busy. It pains me very much to see people throw away Jesus because Jesus is in our bags. Jesus is in everything I touch and I can't wait till later down the line the theme park is made and people graduate from the Angel Academy because the Angel Academy prepares people to work at God's theme park uh, uh, uh. see God gives me the information at you know certain parts he can't just sit there and tell me the entire plan his master plan comes to those individuals who take the time to listen and do and prove themselves to God because believe it or not you really do need to prove yourself to God <laughs> why do you think he has a Lamb's Book of Life? if life down here was so simple nobody would need God life was designed to be a struggle so that we would turn to God Anyway, I don't believe that God works in mysterious ways. I believe He works in evident ways, and we don't take the time to get it. And there's some people that can read what others would consider to be completely erroneous or you know, insignificant, like the things that I do. But everywhere I go and every step I take, and I've got Jesus following me to make sure that I'm protected and he wore that crown of throne thr those those thorns he he wore that crown of thorns so that I could wear my tiara Jesus Christ came here to fulfill the law I've come here to second the motion and give him his blood back. Hope to see you out in the field. You know what you're looking for now. I encourage you to start up something of your own and link it to what I'm doing and see if something positive could result. by us using our God-given talents and gifts. Alright, thanks for watching, and remember, wherever you go, there you are.